I just found a brand new AI tool that lets you tell it exactly what you want to happen in plain English, and then it goes off and actually builds out autonomous AI agents to get the job done. And this is gonna allow you to automate any task that you want 24 seven without knowing how to code or without knowing anything about AI workflows. Because you're not just building out AI automation agents, you're actually orchestrating a swarm of AI coworkers that can work for you 24 seven. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what tool I'm talking about, how to use it, and I'm gonna share with you a few crazy use cases that you could implement right now to begin to automate your work. Now that brand new tool and feature that I'm talking about is going to be Deep Agent by Abacus because they just launched the ability for you to be able to create AI workflows with their tool. Literally all you have to do is come over into Deep Agent and say, create an AI workflow. And what this is going to do is prompt you with exactly what you need to give it and exactly what you need to do in order to get this to happen. So it says, I'd be happy to help you create an AI workflow to get started. I need to understand what you're looking for. And then you need to tell it what specific tests or process you want it to do, what the main inputs and outputs you want, if there are any specific requirements or constraints for this workflow, and what the intended use case or business problem is for it. And if you want to have it automated multiple times, I would also reference that here. Now, I went through and actually built out a prompt for this. And by the way, if you are going to use this tool, you need to make sure that you build out prompts like this because you need to build this out step by step by step because this is actually going to go through and create a bunch of different AI AI agents and AI sub agents in order to these tasks, but it needs to be mapped out very easily so that this actually understands how to do it. So I said, create me an AI agent that helps my web development and design agency generate qualified leads from Florida. So I only want leads that are in Florida for my web development and design agency. The objective right here is to find 25 local business leads from industries such as cafes, clinics, real estate who would benefit from services like web redesign, SEO, branding, or CRM setup. I give it lead criteria right here and I say it must match at least two of these three. One, outdated websites and poor SEO performance. Two, no clear or consistent social media presence. Three, public email or contact form is available. And then I give it some priority logic here. So I want to prioritize businesses that have moderate to high number of Google reviews indicating that they have reputation and a footfall. In addition to that, they should show signs of poor digital and web preference. And then I have the output that I actually want. So I want the business name, website URL, contact information, what's missing, suggested service offering, and a source link. And then I'm going to give it input options. So target location, industry focus, and max number of leads. I want this to be 25. Now, all I have to do is go ahead and tell it this, and this is going to begin to spin up this AI automation workflow. And again, if we wanted to, we could get this to happen at a certain cadence because Deep Agent also now has tests down here. If you haven't seen my video on this, I would strongly suggest checking it out after this video. But for now, let's let this actually go through, begin to build this out, and then I'm gonna show you exactly what this looks like because this is nuts. Okay, now as you can see here, this is going through and this is actually gathering the code for defining what this AI workflow should actually look like. And like it tells us right here, this might take a few minutes and you could see this started up a project right here called Florida Lead Generator Project. Okay, so now this is what this looks like when this is actually done. We could see that this went through, it actually defined the AI workflow, it went through and executed some Python code in order to actually get that to happen. And then if we scroll down a little bit, we are going to see everything that this is actually going to go through and do. And again, I didn't actually write any of this. It did the execution result and made sure that it actually worked. And then it registered the different workflow here. Now, if we scroll all the way down, we could see that we could actually access the workflow right here. So all we have to do is click on this and now we have this tool built out. So maximum number of leads, I'm gonna put 25. If there's an industry focus, I am going to put law firms right here. Target location, Florida, I am gonna click submit and now watch what this does. This is going to go through and this is going to find me 25 qualified leads for my business. Now, again, I want you to think about this. You could create tools like this and sell them, or you could use a tool like this internally in order to find you leads every single day. And as we could see, this is going through and actually executing on all of these things now because we built out this AI workflow that is operating in the background. 
And while it's doing that, I wanted to show you that you could see this AI workflow has actually been built out on Abacus. So it has an ID, when it was published, we have a description of exactly what it does, how large the training memory is, what different packages it requires. There's a documentation for the actual workflow. We could add in different schedules at which it will run. We could see the source code right here. And if we scroll down, we'll be able to see all the different versions all the different deployments, we could access a dashboard predictions API and see all the different actions on here. And this right here is like the back end of this workflow. Then we could actually watch us go through and do this. So it started up the workflow. It did a search for law firm businesses in Florida via Google Maps. It searched for them in Florida directory listings. It searched for them with the best law firms in Florida reviews. And then it searched again for different law firm services in Florida to contact. It found 18 different unique businesses. And now it's going through with the logic that we outlined for them. And it's going to go through and determine whether or not these are going to be good for us to reach out to and then actually build us a list based on the output that we wanted. And now here's the actual output that we got. We got the business name, we got the website, we got the contact information, priority score, different key issues, different suggested services, and for this contact information, like we told it to, it pulled in email addresses, it pulled in phone numbers, or it pulled in different contact forms. And now we could go ahead and actually reach out to these people, or again, we could build out another AI workflow that can automate that. Now, before I share with you a few of those other crazy use cases that I would strongly suggest that you begin implementing right now, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with DeepAgent today for only $10 a month, which is an absolute no brainer when you think about all the different stuff that you can automate with this. In addition to that, once you start using DeepAgent, you're also gonna get access to features that are gonna allow you to do things like build presentations, apps, websites, schedule out tasks, automate content creation, and so much more, which makes this tool an absolute no brainer for only $10 a month. So check it out at the pinned comment below. Now, the first thing I wanted to show off here was getting this to build out a web scraper. So again, you wanna say create AI workflow, and then you need to put in a prompt again that needs to be long. So for this one, build an AI agent that scrapes Google search results daily using predefined queries related to project manager jobs in the US, and then the agent should extract the job title, company, location, and the link from the visible Google search result cards and then email it to these specific emails at a certain time. Now, as you see here, this right here kind of combines all the things that I've shared with you before. This is building out an AI workflow. It's doing a Google search. It's accessing your Gmail. It's sending you emails. It's creating a CSV, which means that it's creating a Google Sheet. And this is happening every day at 9 a.m. Now, I want you to think about all the different components that you can pull into this and you can do with this in order to automate pretty much anything that you want. And now this is what this actually looks like after this goes through and actually builds this out. This is what the workflow looks like. So we could see that there's a daily trigger here. We could see that this is then executing some Python code here, and then it has more code in order to actually get this done. And again, the number one thing that I really wanted to point out here is that you don't have to know how to code. Literally, all you have to know how to do is prompt this thing and tell it exactly what you want, give it some outline, give it exactly exactly the logic that needs to be done, what the ideal input should be, what the ideal output should be. So now your job isn't necessarily going to be you doing this work. It's going to be you orchestrating an AI tool like this in order to get the work done. And then this is how this actually works. So again, we could come in here, we could see how this is actually going, and we could test this workflow if we wanted to. And as we see here, all you have to do is click on start, and then it literally goes through and does this. It sends an email like this, it gives all the listings, and it has everything that we originally wanted. It has the job title. It has the company name, it has the locations, the source site, and the job link. And guess what? We could probably even take this one step further or spin up another AI workflow in order to go through these and then actually apply to all these jobs. Now, example number two is we could get this to create an AI agent that follows a workflow and then runs that daily. So step number one, connect to Gmail so that you can filter different emails. Secondly, extract email data for each matching email. And then third, it needs to go through and actually analyze and respond to each of these if any of these questions can be answered by the following things here. And you can then give it a bunch of different links or you give it a bunch of different knowledge. So for this example, we're building out a customer service 
server spot that is clearly built on all of Abacus's AI's different FAQs. And as we can see, this is gonna go through, it actually creates this different workflow here. You could see all of the different nodes that it's created, and then we could actually test out this workflow. And then as we can see here, this actually goes through, and the description of this is that this is daily Gmail support response generator, and this autonomous workflow runs daily to process emails and then generate appropriate responses. And then as we can see, that's exactly what it does here in the CSV. You could see the sender's email, you could see the original query and so much more and then also if we actually come into the inbox we could see here that the actual email was sent that matches what it was in the CSV file and it even gives the appropriate response also. Now for this next use case, I wanted to show off something that I couldn't believe this would be able to do. If we look at the prompt right here, build an AI agent that accepts a CSV file input. Each row has a name, email, company name, and for every single row, I want you to one, research a given company outline to understand what it does and its industry challenges, two, read about our product, Deep Agent, from the the following pages and then it actually gives it and then draft a nicely formatted personalized email to help the person use their name and company context explaining how deep agent can actually help their business and then it says right here use a professional helpful tone and then send the email through my gmail account after sending generate an updated csv with all that different information. And then it also says the agent should retry failed sends up to two times before outputting a downloadable CSV file. So again, this goes through all of the different logic and even gives it what it should do in the event that it fails and it doesn't allow it to actually send it. And then again, we could see that this is very simply built out here. And if we wanted to, we could actually come in here and add different nodes and things like that, but we don't need to. So let's actually test this out. And from here, you'll see, you literally just come up here, you click on test workflow. We could drag and drop that CSV in here. And then this is going to go through and actually do what it does. And it even when it's done actually gives us a processing summary here. So we could see that there were four things in that CSV, it went through through the four total contacts and it emailed all four of them. It didn't fail at all and it didn't skip any. And again, if we come into the email right here, we could actually see this. So we see that it did this for Walmart. So AI automation solutions for Walmart, and it goes through and actually makes this hyper personalized. Now, again, there are a few things that we might want to adjust like the subject here, or where it says best regards your name. Obviously you would want to make sure that those things are fixed before you actually put this into production. But the fact that it can do this is crazy. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this one right here that walks you through Google Gemini's latest features that they just released and I guarantee you probably haven't seen these yet. I'll see you over there.